Today is the day we go back a few years and make one of my favorite recipes without protein powder. Can you guess what that recipe is? If you said pancakes, you're wrong. We're doing a protein cheesecake without protein powder and all you need is six ingredients. So let's jump right into it. Start this one by preparing your optional crust. You don't want a crust or just want less carbs and fat in the recipe, then you can move on to the cheesecake part. To make an easy cheesecake crust, all you need to do is to take out a bowl and add into it 45 grams of graham cracker crumbs and 28 grams of melted butter. Mix those around until all of your crumbs have met the butter. Next, take out a pan or dish for your cheesecake. I like using one of these six inch round pans that I've been using for over a decade. I'll make sure to put a link to them below. Before adding in your crust, you wanna either add in some parchment paper or coat your pan or dish with nonstick cooking spray. Pour your crust mix in and do your best to press it in with your hands so that it's compacted and level. Put your crust into the oven on 375 for around 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges start to turn golden brown like this. With your crust off to the side, take out either a blender or food processor and add into it two large whole eggs, 100 grams of vanilla Greek yogurt, 226 grams of cottage cheese, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, 28 grams of hemp seeds or hemp seed hearts, which are packed with protein, and two tablespoons of a sweetener. Blend or process those ingredients until smooth. This should only take a couple seconds, don't overmix it. Pour that mix on top of your crust and cut in or top it with whatever you want, like some cocoa powder and mini chocolate chips. Put your cheesecake into the oven on 325 for around 40 to 45 minutes. While that's baking, it's time for the tip of the day. Did you know that you can check if your cheesecake is done by doing the jiggle test? All you need to do to do this is to gently tap or move your pan, and if there's a slight jiggle in the center without a ripple, it's time to take it out. If you don't take it out in time, you risk over baking it, which will lead to it being a bit dry and possibly having cracks. Other things that can lead to cracks in your cheesecake, over mixing it, temperature changes by opening the door to check on it, or it's sticking to the edges. So make sure to use nonstick cooking spray or parchment paper. Is a cracked cheesecake ruined? No, it's still delicious, just not as Instagram friendly. Let's see how our cheesecake turned out. After it passes the jiggle test, take it out of the oven and let it cool. Once cooled, wrap it up and put it into the fridge for a few hours or preferably overnight. Couple of tips for this one. Number one, make sure you put it into the fridge for at least a couple hours to cool off. Or you're not gonna get the right cheesecake texture. Number two, these freeze great, so you can make a couple of them at a time if you want. And number three, mix and match your Greek yogurt and any other flavors you add into it. Before we end this one, I have one simple question for you all. When you're on the go for something quick, do you prefer a protein bar or a protein shake? Or even something else in that same category? Let me know in the comments below. Also, since I never promote this, I have a newsletter that I send out once a week with any new recipes we do. So if you're not subscribed on here and or want a free recipe book, you can subscribe right on the website to receive these. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up button for more high protein desserts without protein butter. Check out our website, theproteinchef.co, where you can print and scale all of your recipes. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss a recipe. Follow us on socials at The Protein Chef, and of course, stay healthy.